Hey my friends, so we're currently in south of France, this is close to where my family lives and tomorrow I'm going to be running my first 100 mile ultra marathon race. I'm really looking forward to it. My ankle, I feel confident about my ankle, it's taken a lot of rehab to get to this point but we're here and I'm excited and I am also nervous. Yeah, I'm going to try and get to sleep now, um, hopefully I can get to sleep. I just need to calm myself down and I'll see you tomorrow. Welcome to the kitchen. <laughs> Pink everywhere in your outfit. If I don't win, I want to win. <laughs> Best fashion goes to. I love how you have crepes hanging out of your vest. Everyone else has got water. <laughs> I've got the essentials. I'm so nervous. <laughs> and the music is making it so like emotional as well. <laughs> I just need to remember to stay slow at the start. Now that the race has started, I'm not really too nervous anymore. Oh, this is probably the most time we'll see people on the road because 160k is a long way for people to spread themselves out. <laughs> The temperature is really nice this morning, but it's hot. <laughs> They're going through a heat wave at the moment, so they've got sponges and stuff to keep our body temperatures cool. I've got so much hydration stuff, but yeah. I'm trying to calm my heart rate down because I'm just really excited. Like, I actually can't stop smiling. Not very concealed. It was a number don't have one. Time for that. My goal with this hundred miles is to enjoy it and to finish it, and if possible, to the ultra gods I'm praying to get it below 24 hours. Teamwork. Yeah, Stretching my work. hamstring in the meantime. Knowing those items I went through, I think when I scared I missed the goal. Still my days and over. Still got your crepes hanging out the front of the vest. Can't be relying too heavily on those gels. Because we all know what happens. And in case you don't know, it includes. I shit my pants. Right, okay. <laughs> Feeling good? Yeah, I am actually. Yeah? yeah. Can't have a sight of my period though. Oh shit, really? What, like now? Yeah. That was just a feed station. They had watermelon. Oh, that went down so well. Okay, so, yeah, no one's around. Um, I think it's time for my third shit of the day. I have already gone, I have already gone for two. It's 11 o'clock now, and it's just going to keep getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Feeling good. No complaints here. We are feeling very good. We're feeling very good. This looks like a painting or something. How is this real? I had to go and twist the same fucking ankle again. Same fucking ankle. Same fucking style 
of like pothole. It's like nothing. It's like a small like crack in the road. I just took my eyes off the road really briefly and then It's just a big block. Oh, I don't even know what to say. Um, I didn't think this year has just not gone how I thought it would go. I didn't think I'd be spending most of the year rehabbing my ankle only to get to the race and then a marathon in, retwist my ankle in exactly the same silly, like nothing way that I did the first time. And I tried to be really positive. Like I was like, no, it's okay. We can run this off. But then with every mile, it just kept getting worse. I didn't have my physio there. And I got to mile 50 and I was, I was like, it's really bad now. And I really don't want to reset it back to day one where I had all of that rehab to do. So, so I decided to call it a day at mile 50 and now I'm here and I have some rehab to do. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I really want to do this. So I stopped there. The immediate swelling in the ankle. Awesome. Um, can you do, can you just notice how this feels? Although you got Buku family, you don't even got nobody being honest with you. Breathe till I evaporated. My whole body see through, transportation handmade. And I know it better than most people I don't trust them anyways You can't break the law with them Get some good she have a calm night Shooters killing left and right Working through your worst night Back to ramping up the training I hope the sack is full up Running a 30k today I'm working on I'm fucked up Spending when I, I get that I ain't trying to keep you Can't keep up a <laughs> conversation Can't nobody read you why your eyes well up? Did you call me from a seance? You were from my past life. Hope you're doing well, bro. You have my little period packets as well. Oh, that's cute. It's that time. Um... <laughs> last last race was races. on your period. I know. You're planning on having a lot of pretzels. <laughs> You know that I love a pretzel. You look like a pretzel dealer or something. You're just portioning them out. Meet me at 30 miles. I'll give you the dry stuff. It's $30 an ounce. It's quite pricey, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Round two. I love you. I'm proud of you. Love you. Here we go again. Here we go again. Perfect. Key learnings from the last 100 miles. Stay really present. <laughs> Don't get too distracted by the natural surroundings. Look more at the floor, <laughs> even though it's so pretty here. Don't stop. If that's not a picture perfect setting of autumn, then I don't know what it is. All I'm missing now is a pumpkin spice latte. I'm going to 20. We're an eighth of the way through. Oh, How are you feeling? You guys rock! Jump. You look so cozy. Some people are shirtless, like literally nips out. <laughs> That's what, I'm a warm blooded person. I don't <laughs> fare well in the cold. Okay. <laughs> Come get some snacks. You feeling loose? Love's changing all the time. I made you a playlist. I tell you what is in full function. <laughs> it's 100 miles. The poop schedule. We nailed it this morning. 
We nailed it again, quarter of the way through. I've never been so regular, and I'm loving it. Everyone knows, you poop good, you feel good. Never looking down, I'm just in aura, it's what's in front of me? Yeah, so close. How are your period cramps? They are there. The present. Are they going down, or are they just like consistent? I mean, I'm not giving them any power. Did the accent give it away? <laughs> <laughs> They came over here just for this race. No way! That's awesome. You'll be losing your virginity. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't done 100 before, you're losing your virginity. That's what I'm hoping for. Like that. <laughs> Have you listened to any of your own music? I uh have. -huh. How's the playlist? Is it just banger after banger after banger? Turn me on the upside down. Though you're running 100 miles. <laughs> Enough of the chit chat. I feel really happy at the moment. I get so emotional in these um, events that like I end up having like butterflies in my stomach and everything, but that's not very helpful when you're just trying to keep the food down. So just trying to calm myself. I tell you what, changing that in a porta potty is not the most appealing thing that not, I can imagine. It's not glamorous. It ain't glamorous. Every four hours, we have to swap out all of these gels. The trick with these gels is to consume them fast so you don't let them linger in the mouth. I must have tried about. So many different brands in training. None of them taste good. I still haven't found one that tastes good. I honestly wish there was one that tasted of nothing. That would be so ideal. Jailbreak over. Jailbreak complete. That makes me feel so on edge. Dude, you've been smiling for hours. Your cheeks are gonna cramp. It's a cheek workout. In all four cheeks. All four cheeks, yeah. Gonna get a ramen. They've got ramen here. Go on, give me your best British accent. <laughs> oh, no, really good. No. Okay, I'll Absolutely. do my American accent. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. I think it's pretty awful. <laughs> I might sit in a chair, yeah. sorry. Well, Thank you. Right. I feel like such a drama. Careful, it's really mean. Hello. Just me again. Checking in. Quick check, check, checking in. <laughs> I think this is my delirious face. 76.91 kilometers in. Spirits high. Body feels good. We're at the halfway mark and the sun's going down. 12 hours of darkness. Hello! It started raining. You ready, boss? Oh, yeah. Crush your heart and hold you tight. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Hello, here. Wow, you guys cannot see us, but Natasha is here. Ankle feeling good? Yeah? Is it giving you any feedback? No feedback? Hell yeah. What do I know? Saying that you want to know what it feels like to let go. Dude, it's 
been like three hours of straight rain. Wow, we're over some kind of lake, but we can't really see it. It's just pitch black. Just for the record, my shoes are smoking. What do I know? I need somebody, I need a witness, I need somebody, I need a witness, I need somebody, I need a witness to look in your eyes when you see the vision. I need somebody, I need a witness, I need somebody, I need a witness, I need somebody, I need a witness. That foot is moist. Okay, we're gonna swap the socks out, swap the shoes out. Yeah. Ah, oh, you guys, I, I don't know if I made a mistake. So it's a couple days after the race and I didn't make it. I got to about 82 and a half miles within like 20 hours or so. And that's at the point where I decided to stop. I had to walk back to the aid station um, to let them know that I was not going to continue. I mean, I was basically on my pace for 24 hours and I just, I keep changing my mind about whether I should have just pushed through or whether I made the right decision. Essentially, it got to the point where it had been raining from about 7 p.m. to 3 a.m., which is when I stopped, and the cold just got to me. And this is just, I will just preface this, like I'm a warm-blooded person. Running in the heat for me is fine. Like when I was in France in summer, I was fine. I was doing fine. Vegas last year, I was doing fine. The cold just goes straight through me. I'm just not great in the cold. I never have been ever since I was little. Great in the heat. Looking back, I definitely don't think my gear was perfect for how wet it got for how long I was going to be spending in the rain like I've run marathons where it's rained the whole time and I've been okay but that was started raining at 7 kept going to 3 a.m so what's that that's eight hours of running in the rain <laughs> and my feet I didn't know that waterproof socks existed until yesterday my feet got so waterlogged I got immersion foot which was really bizarre and I just the cold once you're so wet like the cold felt even colder and all of my stuff in all my drop bags were drenched as well um, so I didn't have a dry change of clothes. I was shivering and I just thought maybe the smart thing to do here is to stop. <laughs> I had about four hours to go and I don't, this is why I don't know if I made a mistake. I'm new at this and I, I, I don't know and I was not really in a state of thinking clearly either. I was just shivering so much. In the end, I just decided to choose the safe path. There's nothing I can do now. I'm just gonna take away the positives, which is that I think I've built the fitness to be able to run 100 miles in 24 hours, which I'm really happy with because my ankle has made the training not go how I thought it would go or want to go. Now I'm just going into my next race more experienced. And I know about waterproof socks. Guess who's back? I should be a pro at this, but I'm still nervous that I've forgotten something. <laughs> oh. The fashion element of this is really quite important to you, isn't it? It's about performance, achievement, women's health, and... Um, looking absolutely swag. <laughs> These are the really important hours, I think. Yeah, you want to spend a lot of time in this phase, <laughs> and then not worry much about like your nutrition. Nothing gets Natasha calm. Like Parks and Rec. Bagels. Thanks, skis. <laughs> You're so warm. It's so cold. crowd has died down now I put my headphones in I've got my spa music on now it's just cruise control look how lovely and orange it is I just keep seeing guys <laughs> just scuttle off on the side of the pavement and do a wee <laughs> and it's <laughs> so much easier if you're a guy there's no 
foliage to help protect you when you need to do a squat if you're a girl so <laughs> I guess I'll have to wait for the aid station that's what I like <laughs> that's, that's what, what I, I like. like yes some highly effective stretch up lucky for you that's what I like my best moment three Running into subscribers outside the toilet is a special move. Okay, bye. Yes. You've seen a marathon, good job. That's the first one down. First one down. Three more to go. Dude, wearing so many layers. Have you seen the shirtless guy? Yeah. There's a shirtless guy. A shirtless guy. <laughs> he's got a rig on him. Her face that. Yeah, he's absolutely jacked. He's absolutely jacked. <laughs> if I was that jacked, I'd always be shirtless. No, you wouldn't. You get too cold. <laughs> That woman is a huge inspiration. She's just amazing. Keep going, let's fun. I'm so sorry to film you, but. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna save you the time. That third attempt was not happen. A few weeks ago, I caught viral gastroenteritis. Something felt, like the symptoms were bad. Something felt off. Like it even made my back go into spasms. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna see a doctor. And we did a ton of tests. We did an MRI, blood tests, urine tests, stool tests. And the good news is all of the tests on my organs and my general health came out great. It just confirmed that yeah, I had viral gastroenteritis, so I just have to wait it out. But the nature of these races is you do get quite committed to a date because you have to book it early to make sure you get a place. Then you book your travel, your time off work, you periodize your training to build up to the event and then taper off at the right time. And because everything was already set in place and I'd done a few training runs and things felt fine, I was like, let's just go for it. <laughs> and as much as these races are like a physical uh, challenge on your muscles, like your stomach is also going through a, <laughs> a workout in itself. Like I need to consume about 70 to 80 grams of carbs per hour. So I really rely on gels and powders in my water and consuming them constantly. So after about six hours, my stomach just kind of said, no. Let's just say everything just kind of came back up and I got to revisit some old friends. And from that point, I just was dry heaving regularly and my stomach muscles were just spasming. So I just couldn't get more food in. So I did my 50 miles in 12 hours, which is my strategy for a 24 hour finish, like holding back and keeping reserves for the next 12 hours. But the problem is like I'd stopped eating from hour eight. And everyone knows in the ultra running world, one of the core tenets of the religion is you gotta keep eating, aggressively taking in calories. To be honest, I shouldn't have really attempted this third try, especially cause my ankle felt a little bit aggravated, but I don't know, I just, I felt confident, you know, like I'd done the 83 miles a few weeks before, I recovered really quickly from it. I know I've got the fitness now for my goal time, I shouldn't have gone for it, but then I think I would have regretted it if I hadn't tried it, you know? <laughs> the 100 miles is just so unforgiving. And in that sense, it's really different to the Ironman. Like with the Ironman, I did two to three months of hard Ironman specific training. I went out, I was just looking to have a good time, not get a good time, just have a good time. My nutrition wasn't on point. Lots of things like could have been improved that weren't streamlined, like, and it was fine. But the 100 miles, doesn't forgive any of your sins. So any little thing that you might have is gonna resurface. But that is the journey. I think it would be so boring if it was easy. Like I think that's what I specifically love about this event is that it's just so ruthless and you have to learn this stuff and you have to be patient. If I'm honest, like I don't really love feeling like I'm talking about something without any action. Like in general, I, I don't like talking about something before it's done. I really wanna show this though, cause I wanna show that the journey is the same for all of us. We don't always get it right first time. 
or second or third in my case. Like we mess things up. Things take way longer than expected. Yeah, way longer. <laughs> but I'm kind of used to it. Like I don't really have that much natural talent. My whole life I've just kind of relied on being persistent and just not giving up. <laughs> and so I just know that this is gonna make me stronger and faster. And with that, I love you so much. Thank you so much for being very patient with me. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button to join our incredible family and I will see you very soon. I love you. Bye.